for Gussie. He is hooked up again. After he catches his five bass limit, boy, yeah. do you kind of just bail out of there and protect it or it? I should make it. Another good one. Yeah, baby. Dusty said he thought the first hour to two hours this morning were going to be really critical. Getting these smallies fired up, and he's like we said, he's in twenty to twenty-four feet of water. What he calls holes that just have they have boulders and rubble, a hard bunch. bottom. There's a bunch there too. Set the hook, and like a little pack wow. came up. This is a beatdown. That hurts. First, first non-keeper right there. <laughs> Oh, all the 50 anglers remaining in our field are up for a challenge, but they are being presented. They're being walked to the edge of a cliff right now by our leader, Jeff Gustafson, just off to an amazing, blazing start on this day three competition. It is far from over now, but boy, can Jeff Gustafson buy himself a ton of insurance today. Yeah, that is a scary proposition that they have actually set back up on this deep water spot. And again, those are just spectators in the boat. He has that area all to himself, unlike a lot of the other anglers in our top 10. Yeah, everyone else is pretty much elbow to elbow. Look at the size of that lead right now, growing from three pounds at the start of the day to almost 10 pounds ahead of Brandon Carr. Brock Mosley caught a giant at the end of the day yesterday. That may be the only kind of thing that can shake up the leaderboard in a meaningful way. The way it's going right now, Jeff Gustafson trying to win his first Bassmaster Elite Series event.